So we are ready for the fourth or fifth video of the day. It's going to be our fourth of the day. Fulham versus Brentford at Craven Cottage. Um, no Premier League font because I can't find out how to get the Premier League one for Brentford and spectate. So now you can't spectate in tournaments. But um, yeah, Craven Cottage, a big big club um, for Lamar. This will be quite a tempting game. Obviously Brentford drew 0-0 in the simulation last week. Just looking at where they are now. Fulham uh, well, they're, they're 16th place and I think yeah, Brentford are 13th. So Fulham could do with a 2-0 win today just to settle their goal difference as well after a 2-0 loss to um, Liverpool. And then I think they drew uh, in their second fixture, which was against... Oh, never mind, we're going to line up. Reed Robertson, Reed and Adebayo and Tete. Reed and Paolinha in CDMs. And then we've got Kearney, Cabano and Decordova Reed as our cams with Alexandro Mitrovic up front. Yeah, Wolves drew 0-0. No, no. Not Wolves, Fulham drew 0-0 no, no, with Fulham. No, no, with Wolves. Fulham drew 0-0 no, no, with Wolves. And now here's the Brentford lineup. David Raya in between the sticks. We have a five back today of Rico Henry, me, Janssen, Roslev and Hickey. But I think they're full backs so though. Hickey and Henry will run up. We've got Norgard Janssen and the Silver as our midfielders and up front we've got Ivan Tony and Mbuemo providing looking to provide the goals for the bees today. Having a group huddle, knowing they need to they need a three points to move themselves into the top half of the table. So let's get into it. So on a corner here. In the last game we did have a corner, it was McKenna who scored the header, kind of rhymes, against Everton. Jensen's ball in, out by Mitrovic, only as far as Jensen again, oh he's lost it, he's made his way up, into Mitrovic, Paulinho's shot remains blocked. Onto Mbwemo, who's had the shot here, it's a really smart move from Brentford there, they think they're playing the long. It's Tony who intercepts it with the header. And it's Mboim with the shot. He's not going to catch out Marek Rodak, unfortunately for him. Robinson out. And as far as Jensen, Mboim and Reed has intercepted. Yeah. Back to Deckard over Reed, Mitrovic, Kearney. Reed, Kalinia, we've got to make something of this Fulham, surely. No, have they not? Oh my god. Mitrovic, he's found Kenny with the through ball and it's a save. Outstanding from David Raya. Fulham looking for their first win of the season. Corner swung in high, Tony wins it. Kenny back in and it's out for another corner. But the Fulham fans want a handball here. They're not going to get it. Kenny into Aradabayo and it's collected by Raya. Tony. Poked out by Reem. Approaching the end of the first half here. Not a lot to show for it. But either side's really, it's just been poor. Wouldn't be surprised if this ends up as a goalless draw. Kind of rhymes. Both sides did have a goalless draw in their last fixture. When it's in Buemo, and Buemo's trying to sink it into Tony. And I think this corner will be the last chance for Brentford to poke their noses ahead until the second half. All swung in high. Mitrovic meets it. Rowers love at the edge of the box. Works over to Janssen, De Silva, Tony. Back into Embuemo! And Rodak's had a nightmare. 
A strike before half time, just what was needed for Brentford. I can't lie, it's been against the run of play. Oh shoot, I accidentally skipped it. Oh, I'll put on that replay anyways. Probably angle they would have shown. And look, it's straight at him. He just had a nightmare, the keeper. Shocking, absolutely shocking. Brentford won, Fulham nil. And this is not going the way that the home side would have wanted. Is that the last kick of the half? Yeah, it is. So let's see if Fulham can bounce back from this big, big goal into the second half. Fulham to get kicked off again. And let's see if... Let's just see if they can score, really. That's all they need. All they need is one goal for satisfaction. Two for delight. They're called over Reed. He's got to put in the cross, he's got to cross it. Oh, why is it gone all the way there for? He's dinked it in, Mitrovic can't get it. He should have crossed it earlier, shouldn't he? Poor decision. Our first substitution of the day is Francois will replace Reed and De Silva will make way for Baptiste here. I think a bit more stability, state, stability I mean, yeah, in the midfield for Fulham. Oh, not for Fulham, for Brentford. Defensive and can also play the ball up. Maybe get a second goal. We'll have to see here. Deckled over Reed. He's got to cross it. He's got to cross it. Why is he waiting so long for the cross? Cross it earlier. That's what I say. Anyway, Gibbs Cabano will take this. I'm sorry if it appears as night time. It's meant to be 3 pm. I don't know how the game's doing this. Song in high. Oh, Rice fumbled it. It's out by Jensen. Francois putting it back into the danger area. And Mitrovic. Slow roller. Okay, into Umbuemo. Umbuemo here deflected out by Aradabayo. Henry will keep the attack alive. Come on, Henry. Oh, that's a horrible challenge from Kenny Tete there. It's a yellow card. Yeah, there we are. And another substitution this time for Fulham. Chalabar will replace Palinia and Sorensen will come on for Hickey. Swung in high, out by Chalabar. Janssen pokes it forward, he should have shot there in my opinion. So many options, he's calling to Kenny! Oh, what a save from Raya. I can't find Andreas Pereira in this game. Can't find Flamengo and substitute it in for Fulham. But what a save from David Raya. The may have just kept Brentford ahead here. Not unless... No, it's a poor corner. Buemo. Oh, Tony's just found himself offside. If he wasn't off, that was that was sure to be a goal there. It's quite a long way off, isn't he? Look, look a lot closer earlier. And it looks like Brentford will put on Onyeka now for Norgard. I think that's all their substitute. In real life they have five, but I just have to make do what we have in FIFA. Into Mbuemo. Back out to Ivan Tony. Not got a lot to do here. He'll push out for a corner. And another substitution. I was waiting for it. Rodrigo Muniz, the striker, comes on for Alexandra Mitrovic here. He's had a quiet one. Mbuemo's cross. Really a defensive impact from the striker here. Eighty second minute. Mbuemo's cross. Out by Kearney. Back to Mbuemo. Francois. Toss in. Poor from Brentford just to try and hit the corner. Should have taken a boy more off corner duty. Francois just tried to play the ball through. Well, Brentford could be on the attack here. And Buemo, oh, he's released Sorensen down that left right wing. Then I he's come up his back. Baptiste, Sorensen, he's dinged it in. And Buemo taking a deflection. Oh, it's off the post. Oh, it's back to Henry. What a block. 
And Blamo again and it's out by Aradabayo. Oh, what a fumble that was. It's hit the post. Blocked again. Jesus Christ. We're in the last, like, one minute of extra time. Brentford really close to making it two here. Oh, that's a bad foul by Chalabar. And that may have just cost them the game there. Janssen. Me. And Rico Henry. There it is. The last kick of the game. Brentford stubbling for the second there. Very, very close. Fulham got to really reconsider here their game plan. This is giving them a massive thump to the ribs. Minus three goal difference. That puts them below 17th, I think, now. Because uh, Crystal Palace drew, didn't they? Yeah. So, Fulham nil. Brentford take the point away from home. Uh, the three points away from home. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Leicester versus Southampton coming out today. So, um, yeah. Remember, please do drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. Or oh, later today.